Oh, actually, yeah, it's a bit higher than expected. Sorry. Oh, 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 that was Team OGS, aka Overclock Gaming Systems, at Micron Insight 2019, breaking the memory frequency world record. Officially, they achieved 6,054 mega transfers per second, and this was one of the many things that Micron showcased at Insight 2019. If you don't know what Micron Insight is, then don't worry because I also didn't know what it was uh, until I actually received the invite to attend. But it's a conference put on by Micron Technologies in San Francisco, California, and their first one was actually held last year. Uh, and their goal was to bring together industry leaders, business, customers, uh, media, and influencers so that they can share their vision and roadmap as a company and discuss things like the future trends in technology. I was basically a peasant at this event. They brought on uh, some pretty big names to the stage for their panels. Uh, the lineup of CEOs and executives was very respectable and these were the leaders of some of the biggest companies in the tech space. Uh, this year's focus was topics like uh, AI, uh, machine learning, and just kind of looking at how big data is making an impact in fields that will affect almost every single one of us. Uh, some of the biggest ones were like healthcare and transportation. Now, I won't be going into detail all the panels that they had at the event because that would just take way too long and be beyond the scope of this video. Uh, but you can actually watch the entire thing on Micron's website. If you're interested, I'll have a link down below uh, so that you can kind of check some of the stuff out if you are interested in any of these topics. But I kind of want to give my thoughts thoughts and recap the event since I imagine not a lot of people know what Micron Insight is. Uh, I was only one of two YouTubers that went to this so you're definitely not going to be seeing coverage of it on any of the, like, the other bigger channels that you might watch. I know other YouTubers were invited some of which were in my close circle friends I collaborate with uh, but they couldn't fit that into their schedule so I went kind of knowing nobody uh, but by the end of it I networked a bit and met some really cool people uh, which I'll let introduce themselves at the end of this video and plug their stuff. Um, but let's talk about the trip. So what was it like? Uh, first and foremost, I want to be completely transparent. Uh, Micron paid for the entire trip. They paid for my flight, my hotel, and about half the meals there. They did not, however, require me to make any content or to cover the event. You know, they didn't set any expectations or have a quota of videos I needed to make or any of that. Uh, and I really like that. It allows me to make uh, this video on my own terms without feeling obligated to show for them. And I get to do this however I want. Uh, I even get to talk about some of their shortcomings in the consumer market in a little bit. Uh, so yeah, now that that's out there, uh, let's talk about the first day. Uh, it was the pre-event day. So when we got there, uh, they gave us a tour of their new offices and labs in San Jose. We were not allowed to take any pictures, so I don't have anything to show from it, but here's a Google image of what it looks like. It's a pretty nice building. That same day at their offices, we got a chance to sit down and have a meeting with some of the key members of their consumer brands, Crucial and Ballistics. It was a back and forth session where we could ask them questions and then they asked us questions and our thoughts. Uh, it was very personal and it was basically both sides learning from each other in order to forge better like consumer and company relations. Uh, this was really helpful in my opinion because uh, if I have to be honest, Crucial and Ballistics are pretty far down on my list when it comes to SSDs and DRAM uh, in terms of, you know, like how often I use them on the channel or how often I recommend them to people for builds or just like when we do our deal hunting streams and stuff, we never see it. Uh, so... You know, I feel like they haven't had a strong presence in the consumer market in the past few years. And that shouldn't be the case because they're one of the only companies that actually produces memory. You know, it's Hynix, Micron, and Samsung. There are a bunch of brands out there, you know, like G-Skill, Corsair, HyperX, Kingston, uh, Mushkin, Team Group. There's tons of brands coming up like every day, it feels like. But again, all of them use memory made by the big three, Hynix, Micron, or Samsung. When I do my online shopping, I always sort by price, lowest to highest. That's basically how I do everything. And I know a lot of people out there do that as well. When I do this, I never see ballistics RAM or crucial SSDs in the lower price ranges. It's always other stuff that pops up ahead of it. Now this is not to say that they don't make great products because they do. They are one of the brands that has been around for the longest and they manufacture their own products. And for the most part, most of their stuff is held in pretty high regard and it receives pretty good reviews all around. Um, but I can't say that about their price and cost. 
uh, cheap people like me and a majority of people who come to this channel for the content, you know, we care about price a lot. So I think that's one area that they can definitely work on in their consumer brands, um, being more competitive when it comes to pricing. Another area that I feel like they can improve on is keeping up with the competition in terms of, you know, whatever the current trend is. Uh, one quick example I can give is on the DRAM side with RGB RAM. RGB is what's, you know, in right now and it makes up a huge chunk of what people are buying because the price difference between plain and RGB RAM is getting really slim now. They're almost about the same cost. And Micron came a little late to the RGB party. You know, some of the other companies, they started offering RGB RAM in like early 2017. And Ballistics didn't release their line until like quarter two of 2018, you know, almost a full year later. And on the SSD side of things, right now we're seeing a shift in the market where NVMe SSDs are starting to close the price gap compared to two and a half inch SATA drives. We're getting to the point where they're almost costing the same thing for the same capacities. So a lot of people are starting to consider that for their builds and it makes sense. It's more convenient. You don't have to plug in two extra cables and you get like four or five, six X speeds. Now, Crucial only offers the P1 in this segment. Uh, it's an entry-level KLC drive, and I personally think it's priced very well, uh, but it's by no means a high-end product. So why is it that a company that's been around for as long as they have, that has a long-standing reputation that they do, that produces their own memory, why do they have such a limited lineup when it comes to their offerings for the latest consumer storage technologies? These were all questions that were raised during this meeting that I sat in on, and the team that we spoke to ensured us that changes are indeed coming. Uh, we were given a lot of, we can't speak about unreleased products to a lot of our questions as responses. Uh, so that made me feel a little confident that we're going to be seeing a lot more of their presence in different product launches in the coming year. Uh, they made it a point to say that you know, as a company, they're going to be putting more focus and emphasis on their consumer brands. Uh, and they recently brought in the right people to their team to make that happen. We were told that these changes are going to take some time since Micron is such a big company and they have a really extensive portfolio and they have their hands in things uh, in much larger industries outside of consumer PCs. So making the shift you know, it has to take some time to like turn a whole company uh, and change like the mentality and mindset. Uh, so I'm definitely going to keep an eye out for that because at the end of the day, we as consumers benefit when companies are being competitive. You know, when they're competing against each other in terms of providing the best prices and having the price uh, or the best product available, that's a win for us. So that was most of the pre-event day. It was visiting their campus and getting a chance to talk to their team. Uh, the second day was the actual event itself, Inside 2019. I got to see Dr. Lisa Sue up close, so now I can say I've been in the same room as her and Jensen. Uh, and the day was filled with panels discussing a wide range of topics on emerging tech, uh, artificial intelligence, 5G, and the many ways that our world is driven by data. And I thought this part was really cool because, you know, the tech being discussed was so far outside the realm of gaming PCs, which is what my channel focuses on. Uh, so it was really interesting to see and learn about all the different pursuits and achievements at the forefront of technology. You know, things that we don't necessarily think about on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, but have a huge impact on us, whether we realize it or not. After the panels, they had a reception where we were free to kind of walk around and roam and do whatever we wish for the rest of the night. Uh, we got a chance to check out what they called the Experience Zone, uh, where they had a variety of their partners set up showcasing like the different applications of the technologies that was discussed in the panels. Uh, they fed us some good food and we had a chance to network with whomever we wished. Uh, and yeah, it was kind of like a small party uh, at the end of the night until people were ready to leave. Uh, it ended up being a really great opportunity to meet people in the industry because I, for the most part, operate out of my own home and I rarely get face-to-face -face time with like-minded people. So I had a chance to meet some reviewers that write for big websites like Tom's Hardware, uh, Tweak Town, and here's a few of them actually that I asked to introduce and plug themselves on camera. Hi, my name is John Coulter. I review SSDs for tweaktown.com. If you'd like to learn more about which SSDs perform the best and which are the best value, you should look us up at tweaktown.com. Hi, I'm Sean Webster. I'm a freelance SSD reviewer. I've written for the SSD review and I currently write for Tom's Hardware. If you'd like to learn more about what SSD to choose for your next build, 
feel free to look at my articles. Thanks. Hey guys, this is Jonathan. I'm with APH Networks. We do daily tech news and computer reviews. Come check out our website at aphnetworks.com and be sure to follow us on social media. Hey guys, my name is Corey Dodge. I'm with newcomputerbuild.com. We post PC builds and information every single month. We do a monthly gaming PC builds of the month article. Come check us out. We also have a YouTube channel at New Computer Build and our website is newcomputerbuild.com. Nate from Legit Reviews was also there. If you guys know of him, uh, he's pretty active on Twitter, uh, but he says this thing about never being on camera. So I wasn't able to get him to plug himself, but uh, definitely check him as well as all the rest of these guys out and their respective websites. They're all super chill people uh, that I had the pleasure of spending most of my time there with and picking their brains. Uh, but that's gonna wrap up for this video though. I hope you found the information useful, although it was a little bit scattered throughout the video. Um, especially the part about Micron's consumer brands. I think that was definitely the most relevant to what I do here on the channel. But in closing, I wanna ask you, if you were to rank your top three brands for PC RAM and then top three brands for SSDs, uh, what would they be? And would Ballistics and Crucial make those lists? Uh, let me know down in the comments below because to be honest, they wouldn't have made mine. Although I'm hopeful that will change based on what I was told at the meeting that we had with them. Uh, we're gonna have to see though. Uh, thank you as always for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel and I look forward to seeing all your comments down below and seeing you in the next video. Bye.